Uh, Grant, certainly not the result you would have wanted this evening. Oh, definitely not. Um, the first half was quite even. Uh, probably the first real test we had, obviously conceding first. Uh, showed good character to go back in the game. Good goal, good move, good finish from, from George. Nice to see him get another goal. Second half, we didn't see it coming. Didn't see it coming. We just that was not that was not us. That's not the group that you've seen for the last six, seven games. Um, we just we just weren't at the races. Uh, and credit to Fleetwood, you know they got about us and uh, we struggled second half and the goals we've conceded two two of them are one are from our throw-ins. One's from a set play. It's it's not like us, um, but we'll pick the bones up on Monday. Yeah, because it almost it developed into a half, didn't it? Well, whenever we came forward, Fleetwood seemed to take that adrenaline from being in front and then just channeled up the other direction. Yeah, we just didn't, we didn't look a threat in the second half. We didn't really have any opportunities. They, they were on top of us. We just couldn't get a, we couldn't get a foothold in the game. Um, and it's a tough place to come here, but we're just frustrated with the goals. I think we've given them the goals, really. Well, we have, you know, two of them, we've, we've got control of the ball, two throw-ins. It's a set play. We lose a man of a set play. And the other is just a mistake, really. So it's, um, yeah, it's a frustrating night for us, but we've got to respond now next week. Do you take any comfort from the fact that when you're going to get a result, it's happened earlier in the season and it allows you more time to put things right more quickly? I think it'll be good for us now. I know it sounds in a strange way. Nobody wants to, we didn't want to lose, and especially in the manner that we did tonight. Um, but I think it might give us, give us a little wake-up call. This is a tough league. Um, look, we've won four out of five. We're, we're absolutely devastated with this result tonight, but we'll dust ourselves down over the weekend and get back to work on Monday. Yeah, because without wishing to sound uh, big-headed in any way, there's going to be teams in this division which are going to relish playing a team that have just come down from the Championship. Of course, yeah. Of course, I mean, Fleet were in the top six last year uh, in this league um, and probably would have got automatic promotion. So, they're an experienced team. They're a good team. Um, we just couldn't cope with it the second half. For, for whatever reason, we have to watch it back and see, and see why. George, commiserations tonight. It's yeah. obviously not the scoreline you would have wanted. No, yeah, um, I think it was more the performance that was even more disappointing than the scoreline. You know, obviously it starts with my mistake at the start of the second half, uh, giving them the lead and then uh, our reaction as a team, uh, not good enough. And uh, it's, uh, hopefully it's just a good learning curve for us and, uh, you know, next Saturday can't come quick enough. Yeah, because obviously there's there's 40 plus games still to run in this season, and it's a bit of a, re a reality check, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Listen, it's going to be a long old season. It's going to be bumps in the road, but um, you know, I, I think you yeah, expect to get beat at times because it's such a long, but it's the manner. And I think we didn't do ourselves justice, including myself, second half, and uh, that's something that we've got to, uh, you know, stand up to and, and as a, as a man and as a team, make sure that that doesn't happen again. Yeah. The, the opposition, though, it wasn't a case of them just playing maybe three attacks and getting three goals. They did show decent quality, didn't they? They looked like they wanted it a lot. Yeah, uh, I think uh, that you hit the nail on the head there. They, but then I think they wanted it more. I think um, me as a midfielder uh, and us as a midfield, we didn't win enough second balls, and that set the, um, that set the precedent for the game. And then obviously uh, my mistake at the second half gave them all the momentum. I think we then we had a couple of chances to make it 2-2 and you know, if we score one of those, then to, I think it's getting to a different game. But, you know, um, I've got to take responsibility because I'd started the sort of slide for the team and, uh, you know, we, ne we never really got back into it after that. So uh, something I've got to learn from, do better. And uh, I can only come out next week and try and make amends for, for what happened today. Tactically, what would you say needs to improve going into Saturday's game? I don't think it's anything tactically. I just think, uh, you know, um, the message at second half was we weren't winning enough second balls and then we didn't improve on that in second half. I think you can talk all the tactics you want, but at the end of the day, we've got to have that fight and that resilience. And we, ain't, Yeah, football's a funny game. You can turn up one week and, and you know, your passing's not there or something's not there, And but you've got to find a way to stay in games. And, you know, if we came away from today with a point, like these will these be up in near the playoffs at come the end of the season. I know they haven't had a great start of the year, but you've only got to look at their squad for League One and they've got a great squad. So we keep got to find a way to be resilient, which we've shown in the first four games. But, uh, you know, we, we let ourselves down tonight, but... I'm more than confident of myself and the group to come back next Saturday and uh, you know make make a better impression of ourselves.